What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my pros and cons for working nights. If you guys didn't know, I am working as a security guard at a casino that is 24-7 and I am working the night shift. And honestly, after working it for a couple months now, I am really enjoying working nights and it is my preference. But I do know that there's a lot of people that for night shift, it's just not for them. Going into work all the time, I am always thinking of the pros and cons. So today I decided to share my experiences and share some of those pros and cons. Let's get right into it. So I'm going to start off with the cons first. Up first is that there is no HR at night, which it does suck if you're trying to get a hold of them. It is frustrating whenever they're not available to you. Where I work, they work Monday to Thursday, which sucks for me because I'm mostly working weekends, so they're not available on the days that I'm in anyways. But on top of that, I work at 10.30 at night until 7 in the morning. They work at 9 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon. So not only are they not there on the weekends whenever I'm working, they're not there whenever I'm there for my shift anyways. So this does suck if you need to get a hold of them for whatever reason, because where I work, since they're not there whenever I'm there, I either have to email them, which takes about 24 to 48 hours for them to respond, or call them on the next day whenever I'm supposed to be sleeping after a shift, which sucks for me, because I have to get up and try to get a hold of them and try to call them, and that's the only way I can get in touch with HR. The other big issue with HR not being available whenever we need them at nights is for me being a part-time security guard, it's easy to make shift changes with other part-timers, which we can just use the online roster and go and make our changes, whatever we need. We don't need to get approval, but if you need to make a switch with a full-timer, paperwork needs to be done. The supervisor for security has to approve it and then it has to go to HR. So if they're not available at night to make those changes on the computer, that means it is a little bit harder for the full-timers to make shift changes. It does suck, but it is something that we do have to deal with. The next one is if you have one day off in between shifts, it really only means half a day. This does suck because you get home at 7 in the morning on your off day, and then most of the time you sleep all freaking day. Like past night, I slept from 8 o'clock at night until almost 3 in the afternoon. So that's pretty much me wasting off my whole day. But that first day off, whenever you have two days off, your first day is always wasted. If you have one day in between shifts, it usually only feels like half a day and usually nothing gets done. And the last con, at least that I can think of, is that the cafeteria is not open at night. The cafeteria closes at 11 o'clock, so if you come in for a 10.30 shift for the night shift, you either have to bring your own lunch, or you go to the cafeteria, pick out whatever you want, they make it fresh for you, but then you have to put it in the fridge and then warm it up later, and it just doesn't taste as good as whenever you get it fresh. If you go and warm it up, it's just not the greatest. So for me, this doesn't really affect me because I always bring my lunch anyways. It would be nice to have that option once in a while to have the cafeteria open, but for me, I think their cafeteria for the employees should be open 24 seven, considering it is a 24 seven operation. There's a lot of employees that work at night, a lot of people that work night shift and they would benefit from it. But for me, like I said, it doesn't really affect me. So now I'm gonna share some of the pros. First one is the price of gas is cheaper. For me, it doesn't matter if I'm going to work at night or if I'm coming home in the morning, the price of gas is way cheaper than it is during the day, which helps for me because first of all, I'm driving a truck and I'm driving that almost hour every single day. So it does cost a lot for me for gas. So if the price of gas is cheaper working nights, then I benefit in the long run. Next pro is that there is no heat. It is usually cooler at night, which for me, I benefit because I tend to not like the heat so much. I tend to overheat very easily. So the fact that whenever I'm going to work and coming home in the morning, it's nice and cool out. The whole ride home is relaxful. I'm not sweating in my truck because sometimes the AC doesn't work my truck. It helps me working at night so I don't have to deal with the heat. So it is a benefit there. Plus, whenever I'm in uniform, I can't wear shorts at work. I have to be in uniform. I'm wearing long pants. So it's usually cooler at night. Whenever I'm at the casino, usually during the day, whenever it's in my training for day shift, it does get pretty hot, especially if you're at the main entrance and the sun is shining. 
the sun and the heat is just coming through those doors and it is unbearable at times. So it is nice working night shift for that. The next one is that there is no traffic at night. There is rarely any traffic going into work. So it's usually the hour drive working a night shift. Usually only takes me about 45 minutes, which I really enjoy. Less traffic, which is always great. Coming home in the morning, if it's during the week, it can be a little bit heavier, but it's mostly traffic going into the city whenever I'm leaving the city. So it's less traffic on my end, which I usually enjoy. So it can be a huge benefit for that. If you do not like traffic, there's usually less traffic at night. The next one is more time to run errands and enjoy your day before you have to go into your shift and also after your shift. For me, I do things a little bit differently whenever it comes to my sleep, whenever I work night shift. Some of my coworkers, whenever they're done their shift, they'll sleep all the way through. Some of them will wait and sleep all the way through. They'll stay up after their shift and then they'll sleep until they start their next shift. For me, what I do is I get home usually around eight o'clock in the morning and I'll sleep until about noon. Then from noon till about five, I am fully awake. I can do anything. So that's usually the time that I run my errands. And if it's nice out, like in the summer, I will relax by the pool. I will do anything I have to do. And I'll just have a relaxed full day and the sun's out. So it's usually really enjoyable. Then at five o'clock, I go back to bed. I sleep until about 8.30. Then I get up and get ready for work and go. For me, it is a huge benefit for me splitting up my sleep. So I'm, first of all, I'm awake during prime time. I'm awake during noon to five. So everything that I need to do is open. If I have to go to the bank, if I have to get my groceries, go get my mail, everything is available to me at those times. And it always works out better for me at that time. If I have to go and do anything and run all my errands, I can usually get them done after my shift, like whenever I'm awake at noon. And then I get everything done before I have to go in later that night. So it's usually a time saver for me. And the last pro that I can think of is the crazier stuff happens at night. Now this might just be because I'm working at a casino, but for me, it is always crazier. First of all, the coworkers for night shift are a lot more fun to begin with. They're all closer to my age. They're not the old guys from the morning shifts or anything. So I can relate to them a lot more, but the crazier stuff happens at night, whether it is a medical, so that means something happened and we have to get an ambulance or get the EMRs to help and assist a patron, a intox, which means somebody is drunk, we have to get them off the property and make sure they have a ride home safe, and we have to deal with that depending on how aggressive they are, and anything like that. A couple nights ago, we had the police there for a reason, which I cannot specify, but they were there for about three hours. So crazy stuff do happen at night. It does make anything possible at night. No two nights are exactly the same because literally anything can happen, which makes your shift really fun. And it's more like a surprise every night you go in because you don't know what's going to happen that night. Now, not all the time crazy stuff happens. Some nights are pretty chill. Last night for me was really relaxing, really chill, nothing really happened. Sometimes there is self-exclusion uh, trespasses, which means they've either gotten banned for whatever reason at the casino, or they purposely banned themselves because they're wasting too much money. And, and then if they ever come back, the cameras recognize them, we get a hit at the computer, and then we have to go and try to find them and kick them out again. And usually dealing with anything like that, for us, it is... A hassle because afterwards we have to write a, write a report which if it's an intox a medical or a self-exclusion uh, trespass or anything like that we have to write a report which always sucks because they take a little bit of time to write but it's always fun dealing with it at the time and it makes the shift goes by a lot faster if there's a lot of things on the go and you have a lot to do but working night shift like I said for me, it's a lot more fun because you know exactly what to do. First of all, our schedule to begin with, no matter what shift you're working, you know exactly where you're supposed to be. Usually every half an hour, and we have the schedule. So all you have to do is look at the time and be like, okay, I'm supposed to be at main entrance, or I'm supposed to be at the podium, or on patrol, or doing anything else because there's a lot of other stuff that happens at night. So it's a lot more to do at night, I find. It can become crazier. 
usually until about two in the morning it is busy at about two o'clock it does start to die down with the patrons but until seven in the morning it doesn't really pick back up it's usually dead around then but there's a lot to do for us there's a lot of things that we as security guards that have to do so it does become very interesting and it is more go, 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 and you know exactly what needs to be done, what you're supposed to be doing, and then there's a lot of incidents that happen along the way. So for me, that is why I really enjoy night shifts. Just it's a great atmosphere. A lot more goes on. It's a lot more enjoyable for me, and I actually enjoy working nights. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I know night shift is not for everybody, but if you find somewhere that is a lot of fun, and to me, I honestly love my job now. For me, it is a lot of fun. That's why I enjoy it so much, but I just wanted to share my pros and cons for working night shift. After working it for a couple months, I really love it. Like I said, I know it's not for everybody, but in my opinion, it is for me because I am enjoying every second of it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Please take care. Peace.